Happy Saturday, everybody. Steve here. It's been a while, hasn't it? Good to see you again. Just home for a, a brief period. Just got through fertilizing the yard, so I'm a little sweaty. <laughs> so we've been getting a lot of rain here in South Carolina, Charleston, and uh, just wanted to take advantage of it, use up the rest of my fertilizer, help the yard out a little bit. Back home, it's been a while. Um, the last time I talked with you guys, I uh, was getting ready to leave. I left uh, on the, my latest trip on the 9th of July. I flew up to Chicago and uh, that's, and then I, I got sent over to Rockford, Illinois. That's where I sat reserved for a couple of days. And uh, boy, summers up there are pretty nice compared to South Carolina. It's been pretty hot and sweltering down here. Uh, last couple of days been nice. Uh, got some rain that's kind of cooled things off a little bit but uh, when it's hot and humid reminds me of Abu Dhabi and I uh, so I sat uh, hot reserve which is is basically they give you a period of time and they say okay from uh, eight o'clock in the morning till and it's and it's eight hours so till four o'clock in the afternoon you're on call um, so what they have us do is is at the beginning of the shift uh, we have to suit up, pack our bags and everything like we're checking out, but we don't check out. Then go and um, go pre-flight the the airplane that we're we're reserved. We're uh, that's sit in reserve, so we're reserve pilots for the reserve airplane. Pre-flight, make sure it's good. Come back to the hotel uh, if they have nothing for us, and then we sit. And if they call us, we got you know half hour to get picked up and get out to the uh, to the airplane. Um. You know, it could be good if, if you're looking for a little bit of a break and um, you need a little break and you just kind of want some some time to kind of kick back and relax. But if you're looking for flight hours, it's it's uh, it, it could be it could be busy. I've, I've, I've probably gotten called about half the time and and uh, get launched. So it's no telling where you're going to go. You show up and they're like, hey, they're going to send us like like one night I sat reserve and um they said, you're going Chicago O'Hare. I was like, what? Because <laughs> you ever seen all the runways and taxiways and, and it's just a, it's just like somebody took a whole handful of runways and taxiways, shook them up and <laughs> scattered them on the ground. <laughs> it's just all over the place. So that was a little intimidating, but it, uh, um, anyway, uh, they didn't use me. I didn't get called. So, uh, but then they're like, okay, well, well now we need you in California. So they picked me up in Rockford, drove me to Chicago, uh, got a hotel there. And then I, um, I, I took a, uh, they booked me a commercial flight from Chicago to, uh, Ontario, California. Um, and, uh, that was that was a uh, that was like planes, trains, and automobiles. I, I, I we we got to Phoenix. The the flight took off late because we had all kind of weather come through Chicago, so they delayed us so they could get all more passengers on. And then of course now this flight's late. I had a tight turn, so I'm I was kind of stressing a little bit. Beat feet out the door <clears throat> and uh, ran over to the, all the way. Why well, didn't run? There's a guy that did run. I mean, he was running. He was running. <laughs> he just phew, passed me. I'm like, yeah, this is the fast I go now, man. So I, I was walking at a brisk pace. And uh, I, I get over all the way over to the terminal. And uh, guess what? The Jets uh, got a maintenance issue. So I'm standing there. The guy that was running just happened to be on the same flight. He's standing there. <laughs> and sweats pouring ass. <laughs> I was like, oh, you... You worked up a ladder for nothing. <laughs> so uh, for the next four hours, we sat there in 15 minute increments while they were like, oh, you know, next updates in 15 minutes. Okay, it's still broke, next update. And it was just like, hang on, hang on, hang on. And, and, and then they started going to an hour. And then they were like, okay, now we're gonna swap the jets out and bring another jet in. So they towed that one out, towed another one in, and then that one broke. So by this point, I'm I'm sitting in one of the lounges and and uh, just watching the, the the show, get me something to eat, and, uh, and I get back. So we ended up launching fine. So I, anyway, uh, 
there to back to the east. So I did a lot of back and forth, long, long legs this time. Uh, I did get to fly into San Francisco. I'm going to post a video. I took some pictures and videos and things like that from this last trip. And I'm going to put a little something together and post it for y'all um, here. Um, but San Francisco, I mean, didn't get downtown, uh, just the hotel. And uh, I did walk around a little bit along the, the bay. And then across the bay, I could see the uh, the airport. Um, so, uh, so I didn't get to see much of San Francisco at all. It's a shame. That's the only, yeah, that's one of the downsides. The legs are a little shorter, but, but the layovers are a little shorter too, about 24 hours the most you get. Um, so you really gotta, you really, I mean, and it was that way when I flew in the Air Force. You, if you wanna, if you wanna go see something, you really gotta put the effort in. You gotta, you gotta get the group together or, or, you know, get a cab and, research and get down there and, and, and go do that. I mean, that's, it's, it takes effort, you know, and usually, you know, we fly in if we're probably pretty wore out and, and you got a long day the next day and it's just kind of like your motivation is just not there. So it's not as glamorous as it seems, you know, Hey, San Francisco, the hotel was, huh? <laughs> that was it near the airport, by the way. So anyway, um, spent a lot of time in Cincinnati, um, Got to fly down to Houston this time. Um, spent the night down there um, at uh, what George Bush, George H.W. Uh, Bush International, um, and spent the night there at a hotel. Yeah, you know, there's no really. Is there a downtown Houston? I think there is. Didn't get it. Get to see any of the sites really. Um, so that's a lot of that. A lot of back and forth, and then now I've got. So the other thing is I've got. I'm working with Boeing also. I'm continuing to work with Boeing doing a simulator, not instructor, but but working with the engineers on simulators. So I'm still working with Boeing part-time now. So um, I, I'm, I was talking and, and, and uh, they had set me up with a trip uh, the week of the 24th, this, this past week. So I'm working with, uh, with, with the schedulers at ATI going, okay, hey, you know, I had it all worked out and we, I was going to get home on like the 20th or 21st and I was going to have plenty of earned time off because I still don't have a line. Uh, so you, you work for a period of time and you earn time off based on how long you work and that's your, your time off. And I needed that to stretch out for the whole week so I could do this trip. So I'm like, hey, they were going to send me home like on the 16th, like after a week. And I'm like, hey, hey I need I need to stay out because I've I got to do that trip on the 20th. Anyway, so they, they were able to do that and work with work with that. And I sat some reserve and did some flying and it all worked out. I got home on the 21st. Um, and then um, I had the weekend. I had, you know, uh, actually I got home on the 20th. I think the 20th. So I had like two days with Arlene and Bella hanging out because they were going to leave. Um, they're actually on vacation now with Nathan, Bella, Arlene, and Nathan are, are out visiting the uh, Yellowstone and Tetons out there, checking that out. They've always wanted to do that, so uh, I just wasn't able to get out there with this. So, um, so I I left on Sunday the twenty third and went to Altus again, uh, and I've got. Uh, I've got, I'll, I'll probably, I shot a couple of little videos. I went out for a drive one day and, and got some nice prairie views and I, I'll, uh, I'll attach those onto my, all my flying stuff too, just to, you know, give some perspective <laughs> from the air from the ground. And anyway, um, yeah, so I'm home and uh, I got home on Thursday and then my schedule with ATI now is, is got moved up a little bit now. So now they got me going out again on Monday and it's going to be a longer trip because I'll be going over overseas. So, uh, I'm going to get to go to, uh, get my overwater qualification. They call it ETOPS, uh, uh, extended two engine operations. I think is what, what it is. It's basically it, it ETOPS qualification, Certification for an airplane is the reason that two-engine airplanes like the 777, 
the 767, the 757, even 737 can fly overseas uh, over the ocean. Um, and there's certain qualifications that backup systems and things like that that have to be in place for that to happen. Um, and the pilots have to be checked out on it as well. So that's, that's why I'm going to, I'm going to be doing that. I'm on a trip to Japan and Singapore. So I'm looking forward to that because I'm going to be, uh, getting to actually spend the night in, in Japan and, and, uh, in Tokyo and, uh, in Singapore. So, um, I'm going to, I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to take some videos of that and, and share those with you and all. Um, so, so I was thinking about this, um, my, uh, when we were, when the kids were little, we used to watch a show all, we'd all sit around and watch, uh, shows while we, uh, we ate dinner. One of the ones we would watch, kids always got a big kick out of us, a show called Everybody Hates Chris. And, uh, it was Chris Rock would narrate it and it was, it was loosely, you know, kind of like his, it was supposed to be kind of like a, a, his childhood, I, I guess. I don't know. He was narrating it. Maybe the writer's childhood. I don't know. But uh, it was always funny because, um, uh, what's his name? Terry Crews played the dad. He would always crack us up, man. He was, his facial expressions and everything else. But so he was, he had, he had two jobs that he would go work. So he'd work, he was a delivery guy, and then he would do something else on the side. <laughs> I used to laugh because the mom, the mom would, she would work too sometimes, and, and she would work, um, and, 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 and she was always real quick to, to, to uh, if, if something she didn't like happened at work or whatever, she would quit. She, she, I don't need this. My husband's got two jobs. <laughs> and she would quit. And she'd come home and tell the dad, and he, he kind of, well, he couldn't have, like, you know, just put up with that a little bit. I, I didn't got to put up with that. My husband got two jobs. <laughs> so, so we always would laugh about that. And, um, so now I, 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 uh, I talk with Arlene and I'm like, well, now your husband got four jobs. And she's like, what? <laughs> four jobs. So ATI, Boeing. I get my Air Force retirement check, which is like a job, right? And, um, and then the, the, the YouTube channel also. So, yeah. So I, I've been crazy busy. Um, and I know, I know everybody's going to, you know, probably leave comments like, hey, don't work so hard or whatever. And I just, I just, Good health. These are my prime earning years. Um, I do. We do have a vision. Arlene and I talk all the time about what we want to do and and where we want to live and and all of that. And I'm just working towards a, a goal uh, one of these days to have a little gentleman's farm and maybe even a little place on the water for Arlene. She needs water. She said she's either ocean or some sort of running water. No no ponds. She said so. <laughs> so. Anyway, I, uh, so working towards that, you know, and, uh, you know, the boys are out working and doing their thing and, and Bella's been home this summer and I've, I've been able to see her, of course, uh, Arlene and her are really, really close and, uh, and spent a lot of time together and, and, and Bella and I have spent a little time together too, but those two are like thick as thieves. So they start watching their shows and I'm like, mm, out. <laughs> so, shows i'm like yeah i'm watching that outer banks and some of these other kind of shows i'm like ah, i don't know watch that anyway um so I, I that's kind of been been it um i we, we told darlene let's let's try this for a year and see how this works out and if it's just too busy um you know something's got to give uh and it won't be my marriage, so <laughs> something else is going to give, that's for sure. So anyway, that's where I've been. It's been busy. It's been crazy busy. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll post some videos I shot from my last little trip. And, uh, you know, if you guys like those, just, just let me know. If, you know, if you get tired of them, let me know. But uh, that's what I've been up to. And, and uh, so sorry I haven't been posting uh, quite that bit. And, uh and I, I just, you know, everybody just keeps watching mom's videos. There's plenty of them there, you know. So anyhow, um, if you have any questions or anything, you know, just leave me comments below. And I, I do check them out periodically and just whenever I can. And, and I'll try to answer them if I can. So um, anyway, take care and we'll see you next time. Check in.